Lion versus Grizzly Bear. Who would win a fight between these two apex predators? African lions and grizzly bears are both powerful predators on our planet. The African lion is widely seen in Africa and grizzly bears are seen in America. The American grizzly bears are considered to be one of the most dangerous animals in the world. The African lions are one of the most successful predators, also known as the king of the jungle, or more accurately, king of the savannah. Both of these predators are quite ferocious and amazing wild animals, and they can stand firmly in a tough fight with each other. What do they look like? African lions can grow to between 9 and 10 feet long, 3 meters from head to tail, with the tail being about 2 to 3 feet long, 60 to 91 centimeters. They typically weigh between 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms, with males reaching the higher end of that range. Lions have strong, compact bodies and powerful forelegs, teeth and jaws for pulling down and killing prey. Their coats are yellow gold and adult males have shaggy manes that range in color from blonde to reddish brown to black. The length and color of a lion's mane is likely determined by age, genetics and hormones. Grizzlies are massive animals with humped shoulders and an elevated forehead that contributes to a somewhat concave profile. The fur is brownish to buff, and the hairs are usually silver or pale-tipped to give the grizzled effect for which they are named. Large adult grizzlies may be about 8 feet 2.5 meters long and weigh about 900 pounds 410 kilograms. Because of their bulk and long straight claws, these bears rarely climb, even as cubs. Other grizzlies, however, are surprisingly agile and can run as fast as 48 kilometers per hour, 30 miles per hour. Their eyesight is poor, and they have been known to attack humans without evident provocation. How do they hunt? Lions prey on a large variety of animals, ranging in size from rodents and baboons to Cape buffalo and hippopotamuses, but they predominantly hunt medium to large-sized hoofed animals such as wildebeests, zebras and antelopes. Lions are known to take elephants and giraffes, but only if the individual is young or especially sick. Lionesses living in open savannah do most of the hunting, whereas males typically appropriate their meals from the females' kills. Though a group of hunting lions is potentially nature's most formidable predatory force on land, a high proportion of their hunts fail. Typically, they stalk prey from nearby cover and then burst forth to run it down in a short, rapid rush. After leaping on the prey, the lion lunges at its neck and bites until the animal has been strangled. The bear is omnivorous. Its diet consists of berries, grain, fish, insects, birds, and mammals. The bear will hunt deer and moose and also feed on carcasses. However, a majority of the bear's diet, around 70%, consists of something other than meat. The bear kills its prey by biting it in the neck or back. It can also kill the prey animal with a strike of its forepaw, which is often enough to break the animal's spine. Often the bear will also bite its prey in the snout, which leaves deep canine marks that are clearly visible. The bear has also been known to bite its prey in the back of the neck to kill it. Where do they live? During the Pleistocene Epoch, lions ranged across all of North America and Africa, through most of the Balkans, and across Anatolia and the Middle East into India. At present, the lion's main stronghold is in sub-Saharan Africa, and the Asiatic lion exists only as a remnant population made up of approximately 500 individuals inhabiting India's Gia National Park on the Katiawa Peninsula. 
Lions inhabit a wide range of habitats, from open plains to thick brush and dry thorn forest. They are absent from equatorial areas dominated by moist tropical forest. Grizzly bears once roamed throughout the entire western United States, south into Mexico, including the Great Plains and along rivers in desert habitats. Control actions and habitat loss extirpated them from 98% of their original habitat in the U.S. A large population of grizzly bears lives inland in Alaska and northern Canada. The southern populations in Canada's British Columbia and Alberta are greatly reduced. Thanks to conservation efforts since about 1975, grizzly bears are recovering well in Yellowstone and elsewhere in the northern Rockies and are even beginning to recolonize prairie habits along the Rocky Mountain front in Montana. Grizzly bears can be found in woodlands, forests, alpine meadows and prairies. In many habitats they prefer riparian areas along rivers and streams. How do they behave in the wild? A typical pride of lions consists of about six related females, their dependent offspring, and a coalition of two to three resident males that join the pride from elsewhere. The pride is a fission fusion society, and pride mates are seldom found together, except for mothers that have pooled their offspring into a creche. Young males always leave home in search of unrelated mates. Lions are most affectionate to their like-sexed companions. Females spend their lives in their mother's pride or with their sisters in a new pride. Grizzly bears are intelligent, curious, and have excellent memory, particularly regarding where food sources are located. Grizzly bears are active during the day and night, but will often alter their habits to avoid humans in areas of high human use. In the heat of the day, grizzly bears will rest in day beds. Most grizzly bears spend their time alone, except when breeding or raising cubs. For three to six months during winter, grizzly bears enter dens and hibernate during periods of low food availability, deep snow and low air temperature. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, who would win between an African lion and a grizzly bear? Some of you may say a bear because of its brute force and aggression. Others might say a lion because of its guile, stealth, and natural-born killer instinct. The outcome of a bear versus lion fight would be different in the forests of the Rocky Mountains than on the African savanna. Of course, lion versus bear remains completely hypothetical. These animals do not overlap, and even if they did, they would probably stay away from each other. Considering the unavoidable size difference between the two, the bear should be hot favorite to win any battle with a lion. Neither can lay claim to being braver than the other, but with varying weapons and skills at their disposal, this fight would be decided on either the fight IQ and strategy of the lion, or the merciless attack of the bear. In terms of physical strength, the muscles of the African lion are stronger than that of the grizzly bear. On the other hand, the grizzly bears are heavier, longer, and taller than the African lion. African lions are better hunters and fighters than grizzlies, as African lions face much bigger challenges for its food in the African jungle. Paws of the grizzly are bigger than the African lion, and it is much more helpful to easily swipe in a stronger manner during a fight. A grizzly bear could easily stand with its hind legs for a long time, but the African lion can only stand for a few moments. It is a bigger advantage to the grizzly because it gives it the ability to attack easily. An African male lion normally has the mane that would protect its neck from any kind of heavy swipe from the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear has more fat in its body, and it is helpful for getting rid of the lion paw grip and swipes. Female grizzlies in Yellowstone are around the same size as lions, and in this case, the lion should usually win. 
However, in a head-on, face-to-face collision, the bear would win. A grizzly bear is way larger and heavier than an African lion. They can weigh twice as much. They can cause more damage to their opponent, even if lions have the upper hand in terms of speed and skill. A grizzly bear's claws are sharper and larger, with the ability to do a good amount of harm. If it comes to a fist fight, they may beat the odds. However, an African lion's teeth can bite to kill. This can stop the prey from making any movement. With its quick reflexes, the lion can deal a decisive blow by lunging at the bear's neck or face. Many cases were seen in which the grizzly bear dominated a male African lion completely in zoos and circus. One such incident happened in a circus where the grizzly bear killed an African lion with its paw swipes within a few minutes. The face of the lion was badly wounded by powerful swipes of the grizzly that causes the death of a lion. According to the doctor's report, the grizzly bear's paw had gone into the lion's skull, causing it to die instantly. Grizzly bears could fight till death. That makes it a truly dangerous predator in the world. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.